to someone that had no formal education as if you were talking to a child, how would you describe it? A child? I have a lot of fun with that. This is great for you. It's just like people who have a family and family. And I help people find, I, know I manage people who help individuals find jobs. <sighs> <laughs> No. Um, you got to go back to. No, that was more based on your job. I, I think what my partner was asking is what the actual sales maker position entails. Not not your role as a sales maker manager, but the actual position itself. If you were a child and you just had to explain it to a child, what that position is. Not the management position, but the actual position. Somebody okay. who didn't know. You yeah. use someone else's voice to help other people find jobs. Let's see. 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 let what is the purpose of having to use someone else's voice for people that are trying to contact you? You never get tired. Excuse me? You never get tired. You never sound tired. You never get tired or sound tired. Correct. So that's the key of sounding. Okay. <laughs> how does someone in your department, how does compensation financially look to them? Great. How does it look to them? Thinking more on a monetary and a number basis, what range would you describe that as? And I'm not looking for like they actually get a physical paycheck or something like that, but financially a number on what range are they starting from and is there a cap? No cap. Um, okay. We start at a minimum of So is it base versus commission? Okay, yeah. Base versus commission? Yeah. Not both. Because some places some places have bases, base, base and commission, only. and there's base versus commission, whichever is greater. There's different types. Or base and commission. Correct. So out of the three, out of straight base, straight commission, or base and, and commission, how does that drop? Well, some people get a base no matter how their performance is. Out of, out of so is it base three. and commission or is it base versus commission, whichever is greater, or how does that work? Gotcha. Gotcha. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier. Gotcha. Okay. So you got that on the company? <laughs> are you writing this down, sir? Uh, I'm waiting for <laughs> what are you doing over there? That make sure you under, uh, what was the base versus commission, whichever is greater. Whichever is greater. That's a key. 600. I want to know. But anyway. Why would someone need to go to your department versus an employment specialist department? Do they ask for it or is it something that it goes off the phone number who gets to your department and a voice mail and I think or a robotic voice, not a robotic voice. Oh, let me ask more specific. I'm being more specific. Yeah. If you're a customer yeah. calling in, right? how did yeah. Right. If you're I guess I guess yes. If you're a customer calling in, what makes the difference between going to sale maker and one and then an actual employment specialist. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. So follow up is there's nothing that the client's doing to go to the sales maker position. It's just randomly placed there or is there something purpose that for it. Purpose for strictly going to the sales maker. Being maker's sent to your position. department. Truthful. It's a follow-up, by the way. 
<laughs> hey, 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 hey. Is that true? <laughs> All right. Your lawyer is a pretty good guy over there. <laughs> yeah, your lawyer. Yeah, right? You might be in the wrong profession. <laughs> yeah, right? He wore his bow tie today for a reason. All right. Um, yes, the description of the sales maker, do we you know? Yeah, it's uh, pretty much. Yeah, it's before you come out before the time. Okay. So they don't sound tired. Um, you guys want to talk about <laughs> some of the positives of the sales maker position? Well, I'll be more specific when you say that. Well, I'm, asking, I'm asking you guys, yeah. is there any, you guys want to do positives next? Or well, or well, if we, or sales maker or versus, or versus <laughs> the other job? Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, you figure out a con on your own because they're not going to say anything, but. Yeah, um, that's pretty much for our own judgment based on what we heard. Um, the the, 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 the sales maker. Uh, if there, if every job, the job specialist, the sales maker specialist, and the employee specialist, if they all do the same role, what is the reason for the different departments? There would be no I point in having the different department. The question is, what makes the sales separate. maker department different from the job specialist and the employment specialist? Besides the fact that it is a computerized voice and it is computer. Correct. Let uh, Mario and Alexa argue managers. God bless you. Say that again. Let Mario and Alexa argue managers. So a different management team. That's what I'm doing. Hey, that's hey. okay. We're that's okay. It's like, hey, hey, over there. <laughs> How many clouds? We got another follow up for five? Or we got one? Two, five, you know, those two follow up. <laughs> wow. Okay. No, that was just one follow up for five. <sighs> Where Mine was five, yeah. Five, you know, that was follow up for two. Yes. I know. <laughs> just because I can't see you, I know you. No, you good. You good. No, you good. <laughs> I got the top of a head over there. There you go. <laughs> got the shiny dome. Yeah, it's, 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 shining, it's yeah. shining in the camera over there. Yeah. How much time is it? All right, let's get on it. Why you crack a shiny Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, we got, we on five? Yes. You're going to charge me, if I ask a two-part question, are you going to charge me two questions for it? Is that a question for me? Yes. It's a question for you. So you can ask for a follow-up to that question. So you want to follow-up to five. So you're not the one I'm interviewing. <laughs> Yeah. See. All right. Have you been in any other um, roles other than sailmaker here? And if so, which uh, position and, and was it which one was better? Okay. So you're asking if I've been in any other roles other than, other than any other specialist roles. I've been. Yeah, you can say whatever. <laughs> you don't like this. The camera's off now, so I don't <laughs> Oh, yeah? Is that a specialist role? Because I think you specifically asked. No, just the to the executive role. assistant was a role that she's played in the past. Correct. Specifically, executive. Oh, not yet. Yeah, that was the answer you got to have. Um. What made you decide on the sale maker role? Was it the compensation or was it the actual job itself? Not having to specifically talk to people mm -hmm. yourself on a day-to-day -day basis, more so picking and choosing the right response. 
why did I want to go into Stanley Baker other than just then seeing it in Spoken Specialist? Is that what you're asking? What made you decide to go into being in the Stanley Baker Specialist position or role? Yeah, I'm going to answer this one for them now. Okay, go ahead. Because I let, I will sometimes let the calls and let my surroundings affect my voice. Uh-huh. So being in Stanley Baker, I didn't have to worry about anything affecting my voice because I found it quick and clean every single call. Huge pro. Very good. Thank you very much. Thanks for that nugget.